Hello everyone, welcome back to SCW Sports and today I'm going to be going over the EFR reviews from November the 13th until November the 17th. Yes, I'm aware I'm a bit late and Birmingham versus Coventry kicks off in literally an hour, but I'll get this out of the way before there's another match day. Just to note, there was a couple of games in the week from League One which I will also go over as well. Starting with League One because it was an international break of course, starting on November the 14th. Shrewsbury Town 3, Swindon Town 3. A very eventful game in the relegation battle here. John Sheridan's first game in charge for Swindon ends in a 3-3 draw away at Shrewsbury. Very eventful game. Swindon scored a last-minute equaliser, their first point on the road this season. As for Shrewsbury, though, points dropped for them, you must say, with them being the home team and leading till the last minute. You've got to feel like it's points dropped in the end for Shrewsbury. Sunderland 1, MK Dons 2. There were a few upsets in League 1 this week, and this was one of them. Sunderland at the Stadium of Latvi, MK Dons losing 2-1. Not a result many people saw coming, especially when Sunderland took a 1-0 lead early on. But yeah, great result for MK Dons though, I must say. Fair play to them, this could really... They're improving MK Dons and this could really be a big momentum boost for them. A win at the stadium or like, not many people saw it coming, so fair play to them. Northampton nil, Accrington Stanley won. I feel quite sorry for Accrington Stanley, they've had a lot of games called off due to Covid. So playing this match was quite important for them and that they did. And they won 1-0 away at Northampton. A good result in the end for them. It was an early goal as well. It was in the second minute, I believe it was, that won it for them. So, yeah, great result in the end for Accrington. But, yeah, as for Norbaps, they'll be disappointed. It's at home. But Accrington Stanley are still up there despite playing about three or f about two or three games less than everyone else. So, very good start for them. Um, Bristol Rovers 1, Fleetwood Town 4. I mean, Bristol Rovers are really going for a bad run of form at the moment. They've had the odd good result here and there when they beat Lincoln a few weeks ago, for example. But... In terms of season-wise, they're not doing great at the moment. And Fleetwood are really coming into their own now, to be fair to them. Jerry Barton's got them ticking after a struggling start. This was an impressive 4-1 win away from home. So, yeah, Fleetwood very much are on the rise. I'm still expecting Fleetwood to be up there this season, to be honest. They've had a shaky start, but they're well and truly going to be up there if they carry on playing like this. A very good result away from home. Hull City 2, Burton Albion 0. I mean, when Burton got a man sent off in this game quite early on, in the 22nd minute, I believe it was... I was really fearing the worst for Burton. I thought Hull could win this about 5 or 6. It only ended 2 0, though, and Hull, to be fair, did do an awful lot, but they kind of strolled through. They got the three points. That's the important thing. Burton Albion are really struggling, though, at the moment. They need, they need a win because they are really, very much down there. They could be on their way to League 2 unless something changes soon. Um, Crew Alexandra 2, Peterborough 0. Well, speaking of upsets, this one was an upset. I mean, Peterborough top of the league. Away at Crew, a Crew team who aren't even in good form, in fact. They're on pretty poor form, and they beat them 2-0. But these are the results for Crew, though, that they're really going to rely on, I think, this season to have a pretty solid mid-table season, most probably. Of course, Peterborough have been flying recently, but their form at home is very much what is keeping them up there, more than more so than their form away from home. A very good result, though, for Crew. 2-0 win, sorry, and very, very yeah, all-round very good result for them. As a Peterborough, a slip-up, but they still remain top of the table. Um... Well, moving on to Monday the 16th of November, there was no game on Sunday, and that was Plymouth Argyle 2, Portsmouth 2. Yeah, very good game this one at the home park on Monday evening. Very good, Two good teams who looked like they were going to have good seasons, really. Portsmouth, they've had a slow start, they've really recovered. And Plymouth are unbeaten at home park still, they've had a very good start to the season there. And yeah, I mean, it was a good game of football, really. I think a draw was a fair result in the end, because I think both teams played quite well, but... Fair play to Plymouth, though, unbeaten at home. They're really looking to make home park a fortress, even without the home fans. Moving on now to League Two. They're, no, actually, no, actually not moving on to League Two, because there was a game on Tuesday, games on Tuesday, sorry. So, Tuesday, Oxford United nil, Crew Alexandra 2. What a week for Crew. They beat the first off, they go and beat Peterborough, then they go and beat Oxford at the opposite end of the table, away from home as well. I mean, pff, Oxford are having a very hard time at the moment. You've got to feel that Oxford not getting promoted is going to really damage them in the long run, the way it's going. It's not looking good for them. Uh, another defeat here at home as well, 2-0. And as for Crew, another good result for them has elevated them to mid-table. So, great week for Crew, and uh, Oxford just really looking trouble at the moment. I still think they'll sort it out for some reason, but it's not looking good at this current moment in time. They were the playoff finalists last year, and now they literally sit near the bottom of the league. Um, and also Swindon Town nil, Accrington Stanley 3. Well, there was one of Accrington's games in hand, one of the many they've got, and they won 3 0 away at Swindon. All three goals came in the first half. It was very convincing for Accrington. They blew Swindon away with a th 38 minutes, they scored three goals. Easy enough. And uh, John Sheridan's first home game in charge of Swindon ends in a comfortable defeat. They've got Bristol Rovers this weekend. That could be a big game the way it's looking at the moment. 
As for Accrington, though, yeah, they're in the top half of the table despite playing, like, two games. Oh, that's an exaggeration. Maybe, like, ten or something like that. But, yeah, I mean, you know, great result for them. Bad result for Swindon. John Sheridan's got some work to do at Swindon. Um, moving on now to League Two, and they kicked off with a Friday evening game. Bolton Wanderers 2, Salford City nil. Yeah, Bolton Wanderers picked up a win. Could this be a momentum changer for them? They need this. They needed this win, though, Bolton. They, yeah, they needed to win this game, and... Obviously, Salford have just hired a new manager, of course, from Swindon, Swindon's old manager. So, this was felt like it was a big game for um, Bolton, though. At home, they haven't won many this season. They got a big 2-0 win, and they were excellent, to be fair, and so they thoroughly deserved their win. Salford are having won too many slip-ups. Of course, they have changed their manager a few times already this season. It's been an eventful start to the season for Salford. I had Salford to go up at the start of the season. I'm not so sure with the way it's going, though. We'll have to see. Um, moving on to Saturday now, Warsaw nil, Southend 1. Another upset this weekend, Southend won their first game of the season away at Warsaw. What a strange result this was. I mean, Warsaw had a man sent off, but that wasn't until South Southend took the lead. But Southend scored an 88th minute winner. What a result for them, a result they very much needed. They've been struggling this season, so they really could have done with this win. And that's exactly what they got. So yeah, fair play to Southend, great result in the end. And as for Warsaw... Very inconsistent right now. Too many results like this that are just letting them down at the top end of the table. Um, Port Vale 3, Tranmere Rovers 4. Well, what a game this was. I mean, yeah, Tranmere Rovers scored two in the 90-plus minutes. Absolutely crazy. Crazy game of football. Um, yeah, Port Vale had 10 men for a while. They still looked like they were going to pick up the win, and Tranmere turned it round in the last few minutes. One of them foot one one of the games that makes you love football, I guess, unless you're a Port Vale fan, but what a result in the end for Tranmere. They needed a win to kick start their season. They've got it. This really could make them kick on now. What a result in the end this was. A very dramatic game at Vale. Um Cambridge United won, Barrow won. Yeah, one all between Cambridge and Barrow. Cambridge dropping points, a last minute equaliser conceded. Cambridge again, that's the issue with them at the moment. Just dropping one too many points like this. Good result though for Barrow. They're starting to come into their own now, Barrow and Lee too. They're starting to look a bit more like they belong in the division. Couple of wins and draws recently. This was this is a way at near enough top of the league, so it's a very good result for them. But points dropped for Cambridge though in the last minute of the game. Heartbreaking for them. Um Carlisle United one, Cheltenham Town two. I mean, this was quite a big game at the top end of the table, really. So a good result with Cheltenham, bearing in mind it was away from home. So, yeah, fair play to them. All the goals came in the first half. And, yeah, good victory for Cheltenham. Um, Oldham Athletic nil, Scunthorpe United 2. Yeah, good result this for Scunthorpe in the end. You've got, got to be said, they, you know, it's one of them games that it's, you know, bad for Oldham, though. Harry Kill's men are still struggling at the moment. So was Scunthorpe until this victory. A very important one indeed. Um... Forest Green 1, Mansfield Town 2. Another upset now. Forest Green losing to Mode to Mansfield Town. And Forest Green are starting to pick up a few bad results here and there. Maybe their momentum's kind of going at the moment. Yep, they lost 2 1 they lost 2 1 to Mansfield. Bad result. Mansfield's first win of the season as well. So yeah, can't really write it. Their first win of the season against a team near the top of the table. And finally, Bradford City 2. Exeter City 2. That's not finally, actually, there's more games, I'm so sorry. But yeah, Bradford City 2, Exeter City 2. Um, a first half thriller. All the goal, all four goals came in the first half. You know, in form extra, so Bradford won't really mind the result. Bradford are just starting to get going this season, really. I feel like they're starting to have a couple of good results here and there. This is no means a good result. It's at home and it's a draw, but still, it's good enough and it does something for them. Harrogate Town 1, Crawley Town 1. Yeah, Harrogate Town's form is slightly, slight, slightly, slightly dwindling at the moment, you do feel like. And they had to equalise an 85th minute to earn a draw against Crawley, but I do feel like Harrogate are still hanging in well at the moment, though. They're still doing well enough. They got a 1-1 draw here, so no complaints. It's at home, but yeah, it's not a bad result, really, against Crawley. Um, Colchester 2, Lake Norient 1. Yeah, good result in the end for... Um, Sorry, for Colchester, really. They got over the line in this one. Two teams who are doing quite well at the moment. So, yeah, Colchester will certainly be happy with this. It's at home. They got the win. Three points for them. Morecambe won, Stevenage won. Yeah, two struggling teams. who I did, I did think this, this game kind of had draw written all over it, and that's what it was. Two teams who are struggling for wins at the moment. Two teams who I expect to be quite down there. And it ended with a, a pretty dull 1-1 one, one draw, to be fair, at Morecambe, Stevenage. But, yeah, I mean, both teams scored, I guess. A late golf by Morecambe as well, may I add. And on Tuesday, there was a game on Tuesday, I'm sorry, in League 2 as well. 
but they are nil. Scunthorpe United won. What a week for Scunthorpe, near the bottom of the league, two back-to-back -back, back -back wins away from home, and now this is really going to do their form the world of good. Yep, one nil victory for them, and Scunthorpe pick up the win. Bad week for Vale, back-to-back -back defeats both at home. Of course, as I've noticed, I've not done my game of the week and goal of the week just yet in League One, so I will go back and do that. So I'm going to say game of the week is Brist uh, Sw Shrewsbury Town 3, Swindon Town 3, an obvious one really. I mean, it was a thriller, it was a relegation battle thriller, one of them games you just love to see. Result of the week, I'm going to have to go Crew Alexandra 2, Peterborough 0. I mean, Peterborough top of the league, Crew in the bottom half, and they won 2 0. Great result for them. I could have gone Sunderland MK Dons, though. It's between them two, but I'm just about going to go Crew v Peterborough. I think they just edge it out there. Out there. And last and League 2, game of the week, Port Vale 3, Tranmere 4. Very obvious. What a game. One of them great games that I think, I'm saying it will go down in history, but it's a very entertaining game of football with some very good late drama and a red card. Things you love to see. And result of the week, I'm going to go for Warsaw nil, Southend 1. It's obvious, Southend haven't won a game all season, rock bottom of the table, and they win away at Warsaw, who were tipped quite highly this season. So yeah, great result for them. But yeah, that is my list. That is my list. That is my um, roundup of the EFL reviews from this week. Please like and subscribe, everyone. I'm sorry I, um, I did this video so late. But yes, please like and subscribe, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.